Hello, what's happening? Matt aka Lethal Frag here, and today I'm going to be talking about one of the biggest pitfalls that I've seen gamers fall into, and one of the worst things you can do for your game, which is blaming everybody else for your losses and for your flaws. And I've noticed this is pretty rampant in gamers, and I totally understand why it's super frustrating when you're lagging or you're losing a game badly to really blame the other team, blame lag. You know, blame cheap tactics, blame people for camping. See, so many people get angry at campers, and um, I really try not to. I have actually camped quite a bit in my FPS career, and I really understand the tactic behind it. And what I suggest to people that are so mad at campers is they go camp for themselves, and I've said this many times, that the best thing you can do to combat against campers is just go camp yourself and figure out what exactly they're doing and why they're doing it, which is what the important part is, is why those people are camping in those spots that they're camping in. And the reason is they get kill streaks. <laughs> that was such a lucky grenade. And they get kill streaks doing this way. It's a pretty boring way to play, but for some people, this is how they enjoy playing the game, and there's absolutely nothing you can do about that. In fact, raging about that for the entire game, it does nothing for your team. Uh, what you should be doing instead is communicating to your team where that camper is sitting, rather than going all try hard and trying to go get that camper, just take them out with your team. You know, if that's how you want to do it, I consider myself a very good camper when I decide to play that way, which really isn't too often. I'll do it when I throw on big kill streaks if I'm not running around with ghosts trying to flank, flank the spawns. No problem getting my kill streaks by camping. And frankly, some days I don't even, you know, I don't want to run around. I just kind of want to chill back and let the action come to me, which is frankly a very effective way to play. And that's why so many people camp, is once you learn the ins and outs of camping, it's an extremely effective way to boost your KD. And also to win games in a team setting. It's it's really important. Especially in team deathmatch. Uh, it's just it's so important that uh, you know somebody on your team is watching your back. And what you'll see with good campers a lot of the time is that they, they may be sitting in kind of a weird position. But what I do when I camp is I stare at the mini map and I watch my teammates back. And that's pretty much my whole goal, is to stop the enemy from flanking my team. Uh, that's what I'm doing while I'm camping. Anyways, back to the point. The worst thing that you can do for your play is start blaming, start blaming lag, start blaming campers, stop blaming the AK-74U, stop blaming other people for the fact that you're losing the games. And that's just the that's just a simple fact of playing FPS is that you're going to lose games. You're going to get put into frustrating situations. And rather than complaining about it and whining, you might as well just fix the problem or just take your loss like a man. You know, just just man up. Just take the loss, say good game, move on to the next one. If you have a lag laggy lobby, go find the next game. That's all you gotta do. And you'll find when you start thinking this way, rather than the, the opposite of being super aggro all the time, it really allows you to deal with these situations in a much better manner. And uh, like I said, I've camped a lot, but uh, I, it's really not my preferred style of play. It's more of just a relaxing thing for me, you know, if I just want to hang out and play some games, I don't want to want to go for that big kill streak. I don't want to... I don't want to try super hard. It's really, it's really, it's really nice to camp every once in a while. And I don't see anything wrong with the camping style of play. But just once again, don't rage at it. There's nothing you can do to stop that other person from camping. No matter how hard you try or how horrible of a player you think they are, they paid 60 bucks for the game, they can play it however they want, and people are going to camp. That's not going to go anywhere. Ever. There's not going to be a single FPS game made where people do not camp. And with a little bit of work, and with what I mean by a little bit of work is I mean camping yourself, the campers become so easy to kill. There's just lots of examples in this game alone. I'm doing stabs and frags only in this game, which is one of my favorite setups. I frankly don't expect to do well in this situation, but I had a pretty good game here. As you break about even with this class setup. You'll see you just keep running up behind campers. It's really not 
it's really not that bad once you once you camp for yourself on different maps you kind of figure out where the best camping spots are and then you're expecting somebody to be camping there whereas if you're you know running around the entire time with lightweight marathon and you keep you die by the same guy seven times yeah you're going to be frustrated but you don't understand the strategy of why they're sitting there and they're sitting there because they just got seven kills off of you and they've done that in multiple games um, I mean the way I camp is I patrol a certain area and as I said I watch my teammates back and that's just how that's how good campers do it and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it so you might as well just you know man up and accept the fact that people are going to use ghost and camp there's just no way around it I don't know what's going to be like in Modern Warfare 3 what uh, the perk slots are going to be at but you know what just don't let it get to you man just play your game Man up, take your loss, and move on to the next one. Frag out. <laughs>